Hello and welcome. I'm going to be doing something that I've wanted to do for so long. I'm going to be playing with fire. Well, not really. I'm going to be playing with this heat gun. And I'm going to melt these crayons onto these two canvases, which I was going to use for doing acrylic paint pouring, but I thought I would do this instead because it looks like fun and I've always wanted to do it. So first up, I think I'm going to choose my colours. Um, I've got a 64 pack, as you can see. I've watched a couple of videos on YouTube of other people doing this, and it looks like they remove the actual paper covering from the crayon, so I'm going to do that first. Do you know what? I might just get them all naked first. So I think it definitely looks like the colours of the actual sleeve doesn't really match up with the colour of the crayon anyway, so I think I'm just going to remove the covers off all of them so that I can get a better view of what colours I've got so that I can arrange them in the proper rainbow that I want. I've put down some baking paper so that when I do actually start melting them that I don't get it all over my desk. I tend, I made a bit of a mess when I did the acrylic paint pouring, so I don't want waxy crayons all over my desk as well. Let's get peeling these little buggers. I have a feeling this is going to take me a very long time. Oh my god, they don't peel easily. <sighs> I was hoping they'd just slide off. Okay, one done. That, that, that took way longer than it should have. This is ridiculous, it's going to take me ages. Oh well, um, I'm just going to put on some music, speed it up. You can watch it in top speed. But just know that I'm sitting here going through this the long way. half an hour of my life I'm never getting back. I've got my glue gun and I'm going to glue them onto the canvas but I'm just going to glue them at the top of the crayon. Hopefully it's going to work. <laughs> okay it is melting the crayons. It is melting them a lot. It's okay it's all good. It's all good. I think that might be a good way for them to stick. Ow glue guns are hot. Ow. Okay, well, they're a little bit crooked, but I don't know, I think that's gonna work. Yeah, they're, they're really crooked. They're stuck down, so that so that's good. Before I actually start melting them, I've seen other people draw a silhouette here, like people standing under an umbrella, and then they block it out with um, like some contact paper or something, and then peel it off so that um, the crayon melts and it looks like it's raining, but then the people are dry so to speak. So I'm tempted to actually try something like that and I've got an idea on what I want to actually draw. I might just um, sketch it out and if I like it I'll paint it in black and then we'll go from there. Okay so this is my painting so far. I need to wait for the um, acrylic paint to dry so while I'm doing that I'm going to get my heat gun out, maybe even use the heat gun on the paint to dry it quicker um, and then I can start melting. I've never actually used this before so I'm not sure how this is going to go. Woo, smells. That is really hot. That is really hot. So, this is smoking a lot. I'm, I'm just going to unplug it. It's just smoking and it smells. Bad. I just, I hope it's not like gonna explode itself. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. I don't like hot things. <laughs> I have masked out some of the bits at the top so that when I melt the crayons, it doesn't go on the top of this so it looks like it's actually um, going around the umbrellas. So now it's time to start melting. Um, I'm a little bit worried that my heat gun is gonna explode, but. I have got a hair dryer, so I have got a backup as long as I don't get exploded. Right, so let's get melting. I've got it um, sitting up here, so um, and I've got my second camera on it. 
Uh, I hope this works. <laughs> right, let's go. just stop for a minute because I've just realized that I haven't masked off enough area. Oh, and it's actually run underneath the masking tape. Damn it. Ah! I don't think this has worked at all. Damn it. <clears throat> but I need to actually cover up all of Totoro, but, you know, if I want to keep that area masked off. But it's looking good so far. I love the way they melt really well and they melt, re melt really quickly which is great but I'm a little bit annoyed that it's gone under the masking tape so what I might have to do is peel it off and then repaint it in in black which isn't too much of a problem I suppose. It's just it's just annoying. Actually now that I think about it the heat from the heat gun is probably messing with the glue on the tape. I wonder if there's something else I should use. I'm going to try something else. I've got this Americana paint. It's called Writer Paint. So I think it's like 3D, like a 3D dimensional um, acrylic paint. So I'm going to do this across the whole of the umbrella. I could probably peel this off afterwards, but I could just leave it on. It depends. It depends how good I can do it. And that's coming out clear. Great. Obviously needs a bit of a shake. Okay, I'm gonna have to let that um, dry before I can do any more, which is a bit annoying. Now that I think about it, I probably should have used masking fluid, um, but I'm not sure that I've got any. I think the one that I've got is all gunked up, so I don't know. I hope this works. What I've done is I've used this writer pen. I have covered up both of the umbrellas. It isn't completely dry, kind of squishy. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping it's gonna be okay, because all I'm gonna be doing really is just melting the crown down. And as long as the crayon just goes around the black, then that works. I'm not sure if I'll peel it off afterwards or just leave it on. It does kind of look pretty gross, but we'll see. So first up, let's get melting. One thing about this is there's really no way to know when to stop. It's just like, when do, when do you stop? Um, but I think I'm actually pretty happy with how it's looking. It's just um, raining down rainbows and it is curving around the black, um, black paint a little bit, but it has gone over. But thankfully I did cover up Totoro. Um, I may have to peel some of, some of it off and what I've noticed is the wax does actually chip off the canvas fairly easily so I'm going to have to be careful when it's dry but if I do need to chip it off some parts of it then I can do that. All in all I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out so I'm going to let it dry for a little bit and cool down and then I'm going to peel off all the paint and we'll see the final result. It's looking like a bit of a mess but I think it's actually salvageable so I've just got my nail tools out and I'm just sort of scraping off this 3D paint um, and then I'm going to have to go in over the top and repaint some of the black bits because the, um, the masking tape, I think where the heat has melted some of the glue on it, it's kind of stuck a lot harder onto the canvas. So. I'm going to have to try and scrape that off, but if I can't scrape it off, then I'll have to just um, just paint over the top of it. And I still think it'll turn out okay, but certainly taking a lot more effort than I originally thought it would. I'm done and I've fixed it up as much as I could and I think it's turned out okay. I've actually got some uh, wax at the bottom here that's stuck on just from where it's been sitting. In hindsight I think I should have probably masked out the entire like part of Totoro with the umbrella so that it looked like the umbrella was actually shading the colour <laughs> and I didn't actually I just didn't think that the colour would actually run over where the umbrella is and yeah, so it didn't really kind of work out the way 
I wanted it to. It did down here where you can see that it has actually shaded the colour, not on this side but just on this side. And that's the look I was going for so I didn't quite get that right. But I'm still happy with how it turned out and I love the colours, I love the rainbow. Uh, I probably should have just left it as a rainbow and not tried doing the silhouette for my first go because it was a little bit fiddly and it did take a long time and it was very messy. Taking off the covers for all of these crayons took so long and I think that was the worst part about doing the whole thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to do another one, I think this is probably going to be my limit. Um, but if I do, go and check out my Instagram channel because that's where I'll post a picture of it if I do any more of these. I did scrape off all the black paint and it is a little bit lumpy, but I don't know, it kind of works. And to be honest, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So this is my Totoro inspired um, rainbow crayon mess. Let me know what you think and let me know if you've tried this as well. So please drop a comment below and just just let me know your thoughts. I really hope you enjoyed watching me make a mess and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe! <laughs>